semen retention is going to make you sensitive. <laughs> but I, I don't mean like sensitive, but I actually mean senses are sensitive. Being a sensitive man is often not chalked up with masculinity and beating your chest and doing manly things, which I also like to do. Uh, but so many guys feel lost in that because they're like, yeah, but I'm not really like a sports guy. Like me, I'm not really a sports guy. I like sports. Actually, I've been watching a ton of sports documentaries lately because I really appreciate what it takes to perform at the top of anything. And uh, it's funny, I'm not a sports guy, but as a coach and specifically as a, a performance coach for men, I want to break into the sports world and coach athletes because they know about semen retention and what it does for them from a power perspective. But I also want to talk to the so many men out there who feel a little bit lost in this masculinity. They're trying to find out what it means to be a man. And basically the message is, you know, bang as many hoes as you can and make lots of money and while while s3x and making money is definitely part of being a man uh, i want to expand that definition and i want to add the word sensitive in there uh, but again i don't mean like you know sensitive let's get into it Hi, my name is Nikola Daz, and I help men master their S3X energy so you can become a powerhouse and unleash your masculine leadership. Go to the link in the description below and grab the free S3X transmutation guide. And depending when you're watching this and when you're grabbing this, you're also getting uh, free access into our brand new powerhouse man community, uh, which is absolutely amazing. So you're definitely going to want to check that out. Why I want to add the word sensitive uh, and especially when we talk about unleashing your masculine leadership. So what is the purpose of semen retention? What is the purpose of mastering our S3X energy? Ultimately, in its essence, is for spiritual growth, which means inner growth. It's a, it's a discipline. It's a tool. It's a type of technique in which has been used for thousands of years by monks, yogis, saints, mystics, business leaders, politicians, uh, kings, and I guess not queens, Unless they were, you know, really a king. But uh, um, uh, the point is it has been used by powerful people all around the world. And people have achieved amazing success. And there are biological reasons for that. And I've got tons of videos talking about that. And psychological reasons and spiritual reasons. And there's all kinds of reasons. But today I want to talk to you about one specific reason that it helps us enhance our masculine leadership specifically. Now, what do I mean by masculine leadership? It's the, th the things that we're supposed to be doing as men. The thing that's inherent to us. And, you know, there are simple things like providing. As men, it's in our nature to provide. We get joy out of uh, and feel successful and feel needed and, and, and feel fulfilled in our life when we're providing. Providing means we're in relationship. We're with people. Uh, providing doesn't mean I provide for myself. Most guys will live at the absolute bare minimum if it's just about themselves. So in a way, the more selfish you are, the less success you'll ever have because you'll live for your needs. And once your needs are met, that's it. There's no need to do anything else. So hence, when you, know, you uh, have a wife or you have kids or you take on responsibilities, you put yourself or you grow yourself into a leadership position, leadership naturally will mean responsibility, which means your life will start to become about others. Your, your, your thought process can't just be, what do I want to do today? It's like, well, what do I have to do today to produce for the people that are dependent on me? Whether that's my family or my team or my suppliers or all the people that are dependent on you and your activities. And I bet you if you made a quick list, you would see that there's a whole bunch of people that their uh, life and their quality of life are intertwined with yours. And this is one way that we become better leaders is because we become sensitive to that fact. That's what it means to be a sensitive man. Ultimately, a sensitive man is someone who uh, is sensitive to the fact or he's aware of the fact that his life isn't his own. So as men, uh, there's real no room to... Uh, sit there and this is where the idea of not being controlled by your emotions as a man comes in. You, 
if you're really living out your life to the max, there's no room for that. Uh, because you have shit to do above and beyond, and I bet you you're responsible for more than one person. For example, let's say I have something going on in my personal life. That directly affects my ability to coach the guys that, are, uh, that, that, that work with me, that have hired me, that have paid me a lot of money. It is my duty and responsibility to show up for them as, as best as I can. Let's say I've got some stuff going on in my business life, maybe some challenges in the business or whatever you know we're dealing with, and that trickles over into my personal life, right? My, you know, to have good interactions with my wife, to have good interactions uh, with the people in my life. So the point is, is once you become sensitive to the fact that more than one person is relying on you, that your life is not your own, it helps you step up your game because you recognize, oh, wait, like today's not about me. So, yeah, I might be feeling shitty or I might be feeling great or I might have some stuff. I got to get the things that I need to get done, regardless of the way that I'm feeling. And each of us has different outlets and different ways of dealing with things for sure. But the point is, is that the more that you become sensitive to your connection with others around you and your value to them as a man, you're going to step up in bigger ways. And semen retention brings that out in you because semen retention is an inner growth process. And it doesn't just grow you physically, but it grows your level of maturity. And quite honestly, we can just say that a lot of us just need to mature, like grow the fuck up <laughs> in the plainest of words. It ain't about you anymore. If you're still living about you, now I'm not saying don't go after your goals and dreams and don't go after the things that you want, but recognize if those aren't intertwined with the goals and the dreams and the responsibilities you have with others, then your goals and your dreams are useless. They're only there to stroke your ego. Is your goals and dreams useful? Are you a useful person? The more sensitive you become, the more useful you become because you are sensitive to the fact that, well, I'm just sitting around not doing anything all day. That is not making my wife's life better. It's not making my kid's life better. It's not making the people around me life's better. And you're setting the example that your wife and your kids and your community and everybody connected with you should also operate like that. So you're not seeing the reciprocity from them. And many men resent the very people that they're responsible for because they don't feel the reciprocity. Now, that's something that we could talk about and go deeper into a different video, but ultimately, it starts with you and that's the responsibility you bear as a man. You need to be sensitive to that. In a world where we're over-entertained, when men are portrayed as, you know, in, in like, think about all the shows growing up. The man is always portrayed as this kind of overweight, you know, jarhead like he's like or what did billy bush call him jellyhead you jellyhead which is like you're a dumbass you know you can't make decisions the wife think marge simpson she was the grounding factor the responsible one right think peter from family guy right like lois was the one to take care of the family to be the reasonable one it's the exact opposite in our actual basic psychology but notice how the shows continuously portray, you know, the man as being this weak, uh, overweight, uh, under like he's like a kid, you know, uh, he's, he's just weak. He can't make decisions. And, and the woman is leading. So men, by subconscious programming, because we watch these, these archetypes, we have like, well, that's it. She'll take care. And I know guys like that. Just like. Oh, oh, she does it. Oh, she wears the pants and the fa I hate that uh, that uh, that word. And it's not because women can't be responsible or make decisions or anything like that. It just has to do with the fact that, no, you're a man. Wear the pants, and then she doesn't have to wear pants. She gets to wear a skirt, which is better for you, I promise you. <laughs> so sensitive doesn't mean that you become... This sensitive guy, this passive guy, this guy who's like, what do you want? And what do you want? And what do you want? Sensitive means you are sensitive to your duties. You get what your responsibility is, even if those other people around you don't get it. But they'll benefit from it and then they'll get it.
See, when you step up and you're responsible, when you learn to, you know, make good income or keep a good job and stay steady with that job or build a business that's successful, guess what? You're a better provider. You're a better producer. Meaning you you you're producing something in the world. You're useful. We live in a world of like more socialist values where it's like, you know, the government should give this and the government should give that and the government should do this and the government do that. Forget the government, you do it. And then we don't need these big governments or big, you know, these tyrants that are born in environments where people want to be taken care of. Because they're like, great, I'll take care of you. But you also, you know, have to do everything I say and believe what I believe and you know, and if we don't like you, we discard you. If we don't like what you have to say. So those, these, what we're seeing in the world is these tyrants show up. This atmosphere is created because too many people are dependent on a system instead of independent, which means that they're dependent on nature system. We're dependent. It's just on what? Are we dependent on, you know, a, a, a God, family, community? Or we dependent on government systems, which means we have to be pay more taxes. There's a, anyway, there's a whole trickle effect. What happens is when we become so passive, and that starts with us as men. So we were told be sensitive. Yeah, I agree. But sensitive isn't passive. Sensitive isn't non is decisive. Sensitive as I don't want to rustle any feathers. Sensitive is I'm sensitive to the duties that I have as a man, and no government gives me that. No religion gives me that. That is nature's will. That is how nature designed me as a man to provide, to produce, to protect. I was talking to my wife the other day. I was walking on the street and it started raining and there was a guy and a and a and a girl walking. They looked like they were together. And it starts raining. And he just like starts taking off in the rain and he's like <laughs> that's how I pictured him, right? Just taking off in the rain. And his girl is there and she's got flip flops on and she's carrying some stuff so she can't run as fast as him. And so she's all like blah, blah, and he just leaves her and bolts right to the house. Right, and into the house, and and then I and I was across the street, and then I see this girl. She's running, and you know she finally makes it to the house. She gets soaked, and I had thought to myself, there was a time where it would have been a natural instinct as a man for us to been like, oh, let me take my jacket off and like put that over your head, or how can I help you? Not to book it from her, <laughs> you know, right, and leave her, you know, pew, to go run in. To the to the house because I'm getting a little wet, you know. This rain is coming, and I just thought it was. It's again, it's not a big deal. A lot of people, that's not a big deal. No, it's not a big deal. But it's like these small things that have shifted in our culture, where there was a time, where as men we would have called each other out for that, been like, "Yo, what are you scared of the rain?" You know, it's like, oh, now I gotta get into the rain. He's got an umbrella, you know, right? Or or or. There was a time where we would have been like, hey, man, like, take care of your woman. <laughs> like, you just left her there, you know? Like, you wouldn't have thought to just, like, you wouldn't have thought about yourself so much where you'd have been like, oh, it's raining. Let me just solely go into my self-preservation mode. That's how most people live. What do I want, right? Now, in the moment. I get that. We, I, I, hey, I deal with my impulses and vices too, all right? But there would have been a time where we would have been like, it just wouldn't even have crossed our mind that we would have left our woman in the rain by herself. Like, you know, it just it just wouldn't have been there. The culture wouldn't have bred that kind of um, lack of chivalry, let's say. And so semen retention, because it makes you a sensitive man, because it develops you as a man in your maturity, the natural progress, the natural offshoot of this when practiced enough is that you begin to become sensitive to the needs around others, which means, hey, I better get up and, well, if I'm sensitive to the needs around the people around me, what is my duty as a man? Well, I better learn to lead. I better learn to like get that promotion or, or get that side hustle going so I can provide at a better level. I better learn to show up in my relationship and perform both in and outside the bedroom like a man know how to lead and dominate and and keep passion in the relationship and keep tension there you know s3x tension 
I better learn how to, uh, you know, I better hit the gym or pick up a sport or pick up something in where I'm engaged to keep myself fit and keep myself in top shape. As men, as powerhouse men, we, we should be striving for top phys physical shape. I know that's been a journey for me to get better and better, clean up my eating, clean up my work, get into a steady workout routine, you know? And I've been able to develop these habits and continue to build upon them. And we've built an entire training system and process to help men do it. So you have all the resources there. The only thing is, do you have the will and have you accepted your duty as a man yet? And that's what it comes down to. The day that you accept your duty and go, no, I'm in. That's what it is to be a man. I get it. That's why I'm not feeling fulfilled. That's why there's some piece of me that's missing. That's why I'm still like, you know, searching for something. It's not, there's nothing to search for. You just have to do what nature designed you to do and you'll feel fulfilled. And nature designed you to provide, to protect, to produce. And naturally when you're doing those things, you become powerful. Powerful means the ability to do. You're getting shit done. You're getting promoted. You're seeing, you know, blessings come into your life. You're seeing the reciprocity materially, spiritually. And you become the provocateur, which means like, you know how to have fun. Why? Because you're relaxed. You're relaxed because you're do you know you've got shit under control. You've got things taken care of. You can now enjoy the extra pleasures that life has. But too many of us are trying to enjoy the extra pleasures when we haven't taken care of the duties. Take care of the duties and the extra pleasures will come and be there. You don't take care of the basic duties, the, those extra little pleasures of life, well, they'll go away because you won't be able to afford them <laughs> anyways because you're not taking care of the basics and you'll just become distracted by them. All right, let me know what value you took away from this meeting. What can you extract from it? Leave it in the comments below. Make sure you guys go sign up for the free S3X Transmutation Guide. And if you're serious, you want to work with me and you work with one of our team of coaches inside the Powerhouse Man community, make sure you book a call on my schedule, either myself or one of my team members. We're going to get on a call with you, go through what you're looking for, help you pick the right uh, training for you and take the next steps. I'll see you in the next video.